All right, so let's continue. And I'm going to exaggerate this place a little bit more. So the biggest advantage is that we have the layers over here that we can turn it on and off. And I can turn on and off over here this layer. And actually I'm going to create a new layer just to exaggerate uh, this part a little bit more. And if I just click and drag out, I get this details over here. I'm looking for a little bit more bigger, maybe 23. There we go. So I'm good. trying to blend in this detail over here. Make sure my back face masking is on so it's not going to affect on the back side. Just try to be a little bit careful with that. If it comes extra, that's completely fine. You can even do the masking over here if you want. But I like the texture, the way it's coming out. Turn off the floor. And this thing can be achieved by the mouse as well. You don't need to go to the tablet and try to do that because over here you can do a little bit accurate way. And it's almost there. And there we go. Now let's do the same for the top. Start from over here. And this time my focal shift is on zero, so it's kind of a you can see there's a soften effect which is coming out, which that's what I was looking for it. I think it's coming out a little bit extra over here, so maybe we can do a little bit mask over here. I'm going to turn off the symmetry so that it just blends in nicely. And just close enough. There we go. Just a little bit playing with the scale and finding a good one. And then I can just smooth it out to clean up all the details. Holding down shift. Just clean up all the details. And we can fix them. So we can add a little bit more alpha over here. Let's try um, this one. If you double tap and make alpha, turn it off. Let's go over here. I'm going to create another layer and make my focal shift a little bit down. So I'm going to bring down the opacity, oh, sorry, intensity around 15%. Turn it off the 
symmetry and start learning together and let's see if it's work it's all about trial and error let's see what works or not so I'm going to put this over here and it's working fine over here blends out nicely there we go so there should be no gap over there in between I don't think I'm going to make it more rocky. So this is where I'm actually understanding the character, how it should look like, how I can make it more dangerous, more, I can add more uh, skin textures into it. And this is where you get more creative because this is the stage where you need to understand the character, how it should look like in your design and the way you want it. So I would suggest you to open up your mind. Don't even do the exact the way I'm doing it. Try to do some different. So we have I have some wrinkles over here like elephant drink. And I'll make it as make alpha. And turn off the texture over here. And maybe I can try with that. So let's see if it works. And also, I'm going to make my focal shift way too tight, so it comes around it. Let's look fine. But I need the wrinkles nicely. So it just blends out nicely. I think I apply it on the back side over here and turn off the symmetry so it shows the wrinkles are coming nicely over here there we go and that's what I was looking for it and now we are getting a pattern remember when there's a moving joint which frequently moved a lot you will find a lot of wrinkles over there so especially on the tail you will find a lot of wrinkles because it's a moving joint and it frequently move a lot I'll keep just adding them on and on there we go overlapping wrinkles over here some bigs and smalls gives you the effect that you want it and then you can do a little bit manually as well I'm going to make another layer and go to the trim demon standard and just add manually wrinkles over here to the corners let it be save There we go. I think I'm going to reduce the intensity a little bit. And over here as well. We have a flatten over here so again going to the this place and bring out the brush and just add the wrinkle pattern over here there we go now you don't have to be 
accurate with the size that's okay some are big and some are fine create randomness which makes a little bit more realistic effect and that's completely fine I'm gonna hit symmetrical over here a little bit there you go It looks fine to me. Okay, looks fine. Let's go zoom in over here. Keep adding the wrinkles. So we have a two layer. So first layer are having the bumpiness. And the second layer allow us to see the wrinkles and both are blending into each other and this gives a fine texture over here make sure there is, should be not a repetition we're going to add over here as well some of them here There we go. Let's try over here. And generally you will find different different methods online every artist have their own methods whatever is comfortable and suitable for you go with that and that is completely fine if this works for you great if you find another way that's completely fine Now this part is a little bit difficult to do that so what I'm going to do is hold on control shift and I'll make the select lasso and make a selection over here let's just zoom in and we can do it easily now So I'm going to adding the texture over here as well in a few minutes. But first I want to make sure it comes out nightly, especially this corner. Let it be save and there we go. All right, let's control shift click. Let's see what we got. Looks good. Let's add the texture as well. It's too boxy. I want a little bit lighter version. Let me try the reptile pack and see if we can play it with this one. Make alpha and just close it. And this looks fine.
Also, I'm going to add some more wrinkles with the daemon standard. Do it manually. And adding more wrinkles will allow you to see the aging of a character. So, it, if it's had a lot of wrinkles, that means you are showing the age of the character and the skin as well. How the dry skin it is. You can add some extra patterns over here. A little bit damage onto the skin. And we are right now in the 5 million. You can even increase up if you have enough RAM, depending on the system. But remember, it may slow down your viewport as well. So you might need to be a little bit careful with that. Adding to the tail again, just keep adding some manual pattern. It will create some realistic effect over here. It's really going to change a lot. Let it be safe. I'm going to add over here as well. Maybe I'm going to use the displace and let's apply the Think yeah, that one. Let's just click and drag it out and add the wrinkles over here and then do it manually. And let's apply another displace at this corner. 
again I'm applying the wrinkles where the joints are it's going to effect create effect that is really movable you know so these parts moves a lot that's why it has the wrinkles I won't go below, but this looks fine, I guess. Let's try with the demon stand it. Just cut it down into half. A little bit more. Now we have less details over here actually we have to add a little bit more details on this area the hands and the legs and we're going to begin with in the next class so see you in the next class